Very good. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to extend really my thanks really to uh, your, hi your Highnesses really for holding really this 40th edition of, uh, of ADIPEC. And um, really when we look at, uh, at Egypt, uh, I would like to first kind of mention that uh, Egypt uh, has a market with 110 million you know, people. And really when we're looking at Egypt's role in, in the energy uh, domain, uh, I would like really to uh, pick up on a word that uh, Dr. Sultan Jabir mentioned about really uh, collaboration, partnerships, and how we can all work together and take actions. Uh, so Egypt's position, you know, as a, as a regional hub from a location perspective uh, provides its ability to enable it to be able to contribute its infrastructure in, in the petrochemical sector, in the refining sector, and as well in the LNG export you know, sector, right? Whereby we have capacity for export of, of gas, right? With 12 million tons right per, you know, per year. We have refining capabilities of you know, 40 million also tons. And at the same time, we have over 10 complexes for, on the petrochemical front. So when we look at the situation in, in Egypt, we would like to really kind of leverage the position of Egypt to be able to unlock the potential of the gas reserves, not only of Egypt, but actually of the region and of the Mediterranean, to be able to provide the facilities to either provide it as an export conduit to be able to be monetized in other markets, you know, being it in Europe or in, or in the West, or at the same time of how actually this gas can also be used as feedstock in the petrochemical sector to be able to provide value-added derivatives, which are also very critical in many parts, right, of the sectors, right, that influence the economic growth, not only in Egypt, but actually for the rest of the, of the world, and at the same time provide as well a market, right, for this gas to be able to be, to be utilized. And Egypt has been obviously going through uh, 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 a transition period, right, a transition period in terms of decline of activity uh, on, the, uh, on the exploration front and the production of gas. However, we are really working very focused in terms of taking actions in terms on energy reforms that we're actually publishing with working with really our partners in terms on how we can ensure that we foster an environment which is conducive to accelerate investments in production from existing, from existing fields and at the same time also accelerate you know, exploration to be able to identify new potentials right, for gas for the benefit of Egypt, for the benefit of the region, and also for the benefit of re-enablement actually of exports. And at the same time, those energy reforms really are actually entailed in terms on practical matters, which entails looking at the price of gas, looking at the terms on incentives of cost recovery mechanisms, right, for our partners operating right on the production and on the exploration, and essentially how we can really work to make sure that we lower the cost you know, per barrel, for our partners, how we can lower the cost, you know, per uh, standard cubic feet of, of gas, you know, produced for our partners, whether on the production front or on the exploration front, and how we can also do that with a lower carbon intensity, because again, it is going to be obviously very important that we do that in a sustain in a sustainable way. So those are part of some of the initiatives that we're actually ongoing now, collaborating with our partners to really kind of increase the production of gas in Egypt and of oil and at the same time of also how we can help our partners through collaborations with our partners in the region to be able to monetize their gas reserves, leveraging the infrastructure which exists in, you know, in Egypt for the benefit of, you know, uh, you know, of the whole energy you know, population from demand. The other element which is very important is that Egypt today has 60% of its gas is going actually to power stations actually to produce electricity. And last summer, we actually reached a peak of demand actually of electricity of 39 you know, giga, uh, gigawatts of, of power that had been, which is record high. And this is why there's active really work and collaboration ongoing you know, at the level of the government and also with my you know, colleague and partner, you know, Minister of Electricity and Renewable, of how we can really work together to really kind of work on an energy mix which is really favorable to enable actually the gas to be able to be used for value added you know, derivatives you know, that are required for you know, products and to increase the, re the renewable content right, in, in Egypt. You know, and we've accelerated the target to reach 42% of renewable by 2030 in this regards, which is very good for the environment and which is very good again for also you know, the, uh, the availability of green power 
uh, whether it is for AI data centers or whether it is for uh, you know uh, green you know hydrogen and so forth, but also for enabling the gas to be able to be used where it is best fit for value-added derivatives, both for Egypt and as well for the rest of our partners in the region and around the Mediterranean. And 